Hi guys, good morning. Today's topic is on creation versus consuming. I'm not even going to say to you that consuming is wrong. It's balance, right? Supply and demand. I want you to just feel into an everyday day for you and test whether you're running in a Roman state of mind. Do you remember the Roman saying, give them bread and circuses? Keep the people happy. They gave them free food and they gave them entertainment to take away what was happening. They were actually removing their rights. I'd like you to think about what you do in a day. How much of that day is escapism? How much of your day is numbing things down so that you avoid emotions? Entertainment is a big one. You know, the bread and circuses are the basic needs that humanity crave and linger for. They fulfill an emotional void that's within. But if they're distracting you from doing the inner work, I want you to assess how much time you give to all of that. How much time you give to distraction as opposed to going within. There are different types of consumerism. There's consumption, functional, social, emotional, and conditional. Analyze your family upbringing. How much of that is an influence upon you? Were your, were your parents distracted from going within in order to process their emotional state? It seems to me to be a little bit like a Western plague, actually, and uh, no wonder. Rome is listed on the old maps as, well, America's listed as New Rome on the old maps. They've all been changed. Um, London also listed as a part of Rome. And of course, Australia, a part of Rome too, because we have been colonized. We pay taxes to that system. Corporations. How much of that corporation is controlling and manipulating you through consumerism? And have you lost touch with the creator being that you are in God's image? You were born to create. You were born to make things. You were born to give more than you receive. And it always comes back to you. You were born to encourage another, but you can't do that if you haven't healed and gone inward. You're going to be projecting whatever emotions are within you, right? Knowingly or unknowingly. If you haven't done that deep dive inner work because you've been too distracted, you're not going to benefit the rest of society with what you're giving out each day energetically. Create versus consume. Give more than you take. Forgive the unforgivable. Love the unlovable. Be open to connect from the heart space. Encourage more than you desire to be encouraged. We're not even aware how much of the energies that we're giving out are coming from a victim state until we sit with ourselves, be still and go inward. Why do I crave distraction? I used to be a workaholic. I used to have issues with food. I used to project anger and frustration on others. I was very judgmental for those that knew me. They all testify to that. And it's because I was holding all of that within me until I had the courage to just sit still and be me and decide that I could integrate those emotions, that I could accept them, that I could actually respect those demons within me. If you, if you get the drift of what I'm saying, uh, I stop judging myself, go inward and learn that I could alchemize that pain that I'd suffered and turn it into something powerful, something that I could create with. Some, you, you will always alchemize pain if you sit with it and it will become your empowered state. That's why you've walked this journey. You have three different bodies. Only one of them is the physical. You have the emotional body and the mental body. Those three, those one, two, three need to work together. How many of us are craving distraction in order to quiet the mental. Distraction turns it off, right? There's nothing better than vegging in front of the TV, right? 
watching escapism, watching what's happening in everybody else's reality. And we, owe, we love drama. We're addicted to drama because drama tells us, and think about this, guys. Drama tells us, oh, I'm not that bad. I'm okay. It's this point of comparison. And yet comparison robs you of all joy. Go inward today. I want you to analyze as the timekeeper how much time you spend escaping. It can be drugs, alcohol. It can be gossip. It can be vegging in front of the TV. Anything but going inward to distract you. It can be staying at work until very late hours, chained to a desk. It can be escapism online, scrolling, 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 looking for somebody to send you a DM because you don't feel comfortable spending time with yourself. And yet God is within. Sit, guys, and just tap in to the energies that's blocking you from hearing the spirit. It's so fun. I can't wait to teach you more about how to tap into intuition and hear the Holy Spirit. This is the deep, mysterious things. It's addictive. It's so much more entertaining to hear a secret and set that in motion as a creator, as a baby God, learning to get your wings back, than watching something on Netflix. Do some timekeeping today, guys. I want you to see how much time you spend. Journal it down. How much time do I spend creating or doing something that's beautifully delicious? Yeah, it could be dancing. It could be singing. It could be writing. It could be cooking. It could be any time, type of art, artist therapy, right? Yeah, right side of the brain, priest line side of the brain. You are working with that spiritual side. How much time are you using that part of the brain and how much time are you just vegging out? All these little addictions are our distractions. It is the Western curse that the rest of the world is following. Let's take ourselves off this consumer bandwagon and jump back into being co-creators with the Holy Spirit. I love you. Have a beautiful day and really nice to see you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.